Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of numismatics, where a small piece of copper can hold immense value. And in our spotlight today, the 1980 Lincoln Penny without a mint mark, a coin that's causing quite a stir among collectors. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal about a penny from 1980? Well, my friends, this particular penny holds a secret. In 1980, the U.S. Mint made a rare mistake. Some pennies were struck without the customary D or S mint mark, which signifies whether they were minted in Denver or San Francisco. And guess what? These no mint mark pennies are worth their weight in gold. Or should I say, copper. So, how can you tell if you've struck lucky with one of these rare coins? Well, first things first, you'll need a keen eye. Look closely at the date on your 1980 penny. If there's no mint mark below the date, you could be holding on to a small fortune. But remember, not all 1980 pennies are created equal. It's essential to check the condition of the coin. The better the condition, the higher the value. And if you're lucky enough to find one in pristine condition, well, let's just say you might be able to retire early. Now, you might be wondering, how much are we talking about here? Well, brace yourselves. Depending on the grade and rarity, a 1980 no mint mark penny could fetch anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars at auction. And if you're really fortunate enough to find one in impeccable condition, the sky's the limit. But beyond the monetary value, these coins hold a piece of history. They're a reminder of the craftsmanship and attention to detail that goes into minting each penny. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, Keep your eyes peeled for that elusive 1980 Lincoln penny without a mint mark. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a hidden treasure right in your pocket. Finally, this coin value is $2 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of Lincoln pennies. And not just any penny, but the elusive 1981 no mint mark Lincoln penny that's rumored to be worth a million dollars. Could this rare coin be hiding in your pocket change? Let's find out. So, What's the deal with the 1981 Lincoln penny? Most pennies from this year have a D for Denver or an S for San Francisco, but some of them have no mint mark at all. This little detail can make a huge difference in a coin's value. First, a bit of history. In 1981, the U.S. Mint produced billions of pennies, mostly with mint marks. But a small number of these pennies were minted in Philadelphia without any mint mark. Usually, Philadelphia coins are identified by the absence of a mint mark, but what makes the 1981 version special? The rarity of this coin comes from a combination of factors. It's not just any no mint mark penny. Its condition, known as MS67, Mint State 67, makes it exceptionally rare. Only a few of these coins have been found in such pristine condition, and they can fetch astonishing prices at auction. One of these coins even sold for close to a million dollars. If you think you have a 1981 no mint mark penny in excellent condition, your next step is to get it graded by a professional. Organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, can authenticate and grade your coin, significantly increasing its value if it's a top tier find. Many collectors have struck gold, or rather, copper, with their finds. Let's hear from a few lucky individuals who discovered rare pennies in their collections and watch some thrilling auction moments where these coins fetched sky-high prices. So, could you be sitting on a million-dollar penny? Start checking your change and see if you have a 1981 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny. Who knows, you might just hit the numismatic jackpot. Finally, this coin value is $1.9 million. We're diving into a truly extraordinary story about a 1982 no mint Mark Lincoln penny that's worth, wait for it, over a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right. A seemingly ordinary penny from 1982, with no mint mark, has become one of the most sought after coins by collectors. But what makes this tiny copper coin so incredibly valuable? Let's find out. First, a bit of history. In 1982, the U.S. Mint made a significant change to the composition of the penny. Due to rising copper prices, they switched from a copper alloy to a primarily zinc composition with a thin copper plating. This change occurred mid-year, resulting in both types of pennies being minted in 1982. 
But here's where it gets interesting. There are several variations of the 1982 penny. Large date, small date, copper, and zinc. And then, there's the no mint mark penny. Normally, pennies minted in Philadelphia don't carry a mint mark. But this specific penny we're talking about is not just any Philadelphia penny. The 1982 no mint mark Lincoln penny that's worth a million dollars is a copper penny, weighing 3.11 grams, with a small date. This particular variation is exceptionally rare because it was accidentally struck with the older copper planchets instead of the new zinc ones. To identify if you have one of these rare pennies, you need to weigh it. A copper penny weighs about 3.11 grams, while a zinc penny weighs around 2.5 grams. You also need to look at the date. This small date refers to the size of the numerals in the date, which are slightly smaller and more delicate compared to the large date. Now, you might be wondering, how did this penny come to be worth over a million dollars? It's all about rarity and demand. Only a few of these coins are known to exist, and collectors are willing to pay top dollar for such an extraordinary piece of minting history. In fact, one of these pennies sold at auction for a staggering $1.7 million. This sale set a record and sparked a frenzy among coin enthusiasts and collectors. So, what should you do if you think you have one of these valuable pennies? First, get it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. They'll be able to verify its authenticity and condition, which is crucial for determining its value. While the chances of finding one of these rare pennies are slim, it's definitely worth checking your old change. Who knows, you might just discover a million-dollar treasure hiding in your piggy bank. Finally, this coin value is $1.8 million. We're diving into one of the most intriguing stories in the world of coin collecting, the mysterious 1983 Lincoln penny without a mint mark that's rumored to be worth up to a million dollars. Is it real, or is it just a myth? Let's find out. First, a little background. The Lincoln penny, also known as the Lincoln cent, has been a staple of American currency since 1909. Typically, pennies minted in Philadelphia don't have a mint mark. But what makes the 1983 penny so special? Let's break it down. In 1983, the U.S. Mint was transitioning from copper to a zinc composition due to rising copper prices. Most 1983 pennies were made of a zinc core with a thin copper plating. But here's where it gets interesting. A few pennies from 1983 have been found that were mistakenly struck on the older copper planchets, left over from 1982. These rare pennies weigh about 3.1 grams, unlike the standard 2.5 grams of the zinc ones. So, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable pennies? The key difference is the weight. You'll need a precise scale to see if your 1983 penny weighs 3.1 grams. But wait, that's not all. Let's talk about the legendary no mint mark penny. Equals, in 1983, no pennies were supposed to have mint marks from Philadelphia, as they typically don't. However, some collectors have claimed to find pennies from this year that defy the norm. A no mint mark coin from Denver or San Francisco could be an error coin, making it extremely rare and valuable. Imagine finding one of these error coins in your pocket change. It's like winning the lottery for coin collectors. In fact, one such penny reportedly sold for nearly a million dollars at auction. The exact details of this sale are often debated, but even verified error pennies from 1983 have fetched significant sums. Now, before you rush to check your change jar, there are a few things to keep in mind. Condition is everything in coin collecting. Even if you find a 1983 copper penny or a no mint mark error, its value will depend greatly on its condition and grading. Consider having your coin professionally graded by a service like PCGS or NGC. This can authenticate your find and give you a clear idea of its market value. Authentication can mean the difference between a modest find and a million dollar jackpot. So, there you have it. The 1983 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny could indeed be worth a fortune, but it's all about the details. Weigh your penny, check for errors, and if you think you have something special, get it graded. Who knows, you might just strike it rich. Finally, this coin value is $1.6 million. We have a fascinating story for you. A 1984 Lincoln penny with No Mint Mark that's worth a whopping million dollars. Intrigued? Let's dive into the incredible journey of this rare coin and find out what makes it so valuable. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin tales. Before we get into the million dollar mystery, let's talk a bit about the Lincoln Penny itself. The Lincoln Penny, first issued in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, has become one of the most iconic coins in U.S. history. It's known for its rich history and the different designs it has featured over the years. Now, let's zoom in on the 1984 Lincoln Penny. Generally, these pennies aren't particularly rare or valuable. However, there's one special variety that has caught the eyes of collectors worldwide. And yes, you guessed it, it's the one without a mint mark. Most pennies minted in 1984 were produced in Philadelphia, which typically didn't use a mint mark. So, technically, every 1984 penny from Philly would have no mint mark. What makes a specific no mint mark penny worth a million dollars? It's all about unique errors and anomalies. The 1984 no mint mark penny we're talking about has a very rare and valuable error known as the double diobverse. This error means that the coin's obverse, front, was struck twice, slightly off-center, creating a noticeable doubling effect on the lettering and date. This specific error wasn't discovered immediately. In fact, it took years for collectors to identify this unique trait. Once it was recognized, the coin's value skyrocketed due to its rarity and the significant doubling effect, making it a must-have for serious collectors. In one remarkable auction, a pristine example of this error penny fetched close to a million dollars. If you think you've found one of these rare pennies, it's essential to get it authenticated and graded by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. The condition of the coin plays a significant role in its value. A high-grade coin with this error can indeed reach astronomical prices.so. There you have it, the story of the 1984 no mint mark Lincoln penny that could be worth a million dollars. Remember, it's all about those rare errors that make some coins incredibly valuable. Keep an eye on your pocket change, because who knows? You might just strike gold, or copper in this case. Backslash finally this coin value is $1.4 million. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and stories. Have you ever found a rare coin in your change? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Hey everyone, welcome back to AF Coins World, the place where we dive into the fascinating world of coins and collectibles. I'm your name, and today we have an incredible story that will leave coin enthusiasts and treasure hunters alike on the edge of their seats. We're talking about a coin that might just be worth a million dollars, the elusive 1965 Liberty Lincoln one-cent penny. Yes, you heard that right, a penny worth a million dollars. But what makes this particular coin so special? Let's break it down. First, a little history lesson. The Lincoln Penny, also known as the Lincoln Cent, was first issued in 1909 to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday. But what happened in 1965 that made this penny so unique? 1965 was a tumultuous time for coin production in the United States. The country was experiencing a coin shortage, and in response, the U.S. Mint stopped using silver in dimes and quarters. To complicate things further, no pennies from 1965 bear a mint mark due to a suspension ordered by the mint director. So, what makes a 1965 Lincoln penny potentially worth a million dollars? The answer lies in a few rare anomalies that occurred during production. Some 1965 pennies were mistakenly struck on the wrong planchets. These are the metal discs used to create the coins. Instead of the usual copper alloy, a few pennies were struck on silver dime planchets, making them extremely rare and valuable. Now, how can you tell if you have one of these rare 1965 pennies? Here are a few key things to look for. All right, let's talk money. Just how much is this rare penny worth? One of these rare 1965 pennies can fetch upwards of a million dollars at auction, depending on its condition and the demand among collectors. In fact, Coin collecting communities are buzzing with tales of these rare finds, bringing in life changing sums of money. So, you think you've hit the jackpot? Here's what to do next. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who's curious, the world of rare coins is full of surprises. Who knows? That penny sitting in your pocket change could be worth a fortune. Finally, this coin value is $3 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting 
and uncovering the mystery behind the 1966 Lincoln penny that's worth a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right, a single cent worth a fortune. Stick around to find out why and how this tiny coin became so valuable. First, let's take a quick look at the 1966 Lincoln penny itself. This penny features the familiar portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, designed by Victor David Brenner, which has been in use since 1909. On the reverse side, it displays the Lincoln Memorial, a design that was used from 1959 to 2008. So, what makes the 1966 penny so special? After all, millions of these pennies were minted. The secret lies in a combination of rarity, historical significance, and unique characteristics. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about rarity and historical context. The 1966 penny isn't particularly rare in terms of mintage numbers. However, this was a period of transition for the U.S. Mint. The Coinage Act of 1965 had recently passed, which temporarily removed mint marks to deter coin hoarding during a time of economic uncertainty. This detail adds an intriguing layer of history to the 1966 penny. But rarity alone doesn't make a coin worth a million dollars. Let's dive into what really sets this particular penny apart. Now, here comes the exciting part. Unique characteristics and errors. Some of the most valuable coins in the world are error coins. These are coins that were minted with mistakes, making them unique and highly sought after by collectors. For the 1966 Lincoln penny, there are reports of some incredibly rare errors. One of the most famous is the double die obverse error, where the die used to strike the coin had a doubled image, creating a distinct and noticeable doubling effect on the inscriptions and Lincoln's portrait. If you find a 1966 penny with this error in mint condition, it could be worth a fortune. So, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable pennies? Here's a quick guide to identifying and authenticating your coin. Equals, finally, let's talk about market value. While it's true that some 1966 Lincoln pennies have sold for staggering amounts at auctions, these are extremely rare cases. The million-dollar price tag is often associated with coins in perfect condition with a rare error, and they usually fetch high prices at auctions. In one famous case, a pristine 1966 penny with a unique error sold for nearly a million dollars. However, more common error coins, or those in less than perfect condition, can still be worth hundreds or thousands of dollars. So, if you have a jar of old pennies lying around, it might be worth taking a closer look. Who knows, you could be holding on to a small fortune without even realizing it. Remember, coin collecting is not just about potential profit, but also about appreciating the rich history and craftsmanship of these tiny pieces of art. Finally, this coin value is $2.8 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, where a single penny can be worth a fortune. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about the 1967 Liberty Lincoln penny, a coin that's causing quite a stir in the numismatic community. But what makes this penny so special? Is it truly worth a million dollars? Let's find out. The 1967 Lincoln penny, like millions of others, was minted in the United States during a period when the country was thriving. However, what sets this particular penny apart is its rarity and unique characteristics. Equals first, let's look at the basics. The 1967 penny features the familiar image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. But what should you be looking for? The million-dollar 1967 penny is not your ordinary coin. It's believed that a small number of these pennies were struck with a special error or unique die variety that makes them incredibly valuable to collectors. Here are some key things to look for. Equals so, how does a penny like this reach a million-dollar valuation? It all comes down to rarity and demand. If a coin collector or a numismatic enthusiast is willing to pay a high price for this unique piece, its value skyrockets. Auctions have seen rare pennies sell for thousands and under the right circumstances, potentially up to a million dollars. There have been instances where rare pennies fetched astronomical prices. For example, a 1943 bronze Lincoln cent sold for over one million dollars. While the 1967 penny hasn't reached such heights publicly, the potential is there, especially if a unique variation comes to light. Now, you might be wondering how to find one of these valuable coins. Here are some tips. 
The world of coin collecting is full of surprises, and the 1967 Liberty Lincoln Penny is a perfect example. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious beginner, keep an eye out for those rare finds. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a million-dollar treasure. Finally, this coin value is $2.5 million. We're diving into the fascinating story behind the 1968 Liberty Lincoln one-cent penny coin that's rumored to be worth a whopping million dollars. But before we delve into the details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated on all things rare and valuable in the world of coins. Now, let's talk about the star of today's show, the 1968 Liberty Lincoln penny. At first glance, it may seem like just another penny, but oh, how appearances can be deceiving. Equals, the year 1968 was a pivotal time in American history. Civil unrest, political turmoil, and cultural revolution were sweeping the nation. But amidst all this chaos, something extraordinary was happening in the world of coinage. In 1968, the United States Mint in Philadelphia inadvertently released a small batch of Lincoln pennies that bore a unique and highly sought-after error, the Liberty Inscription. Instead of the usual in God we trust inscription, these rare pennies featured the word Liberty stamped on the obverse side making them exceptionally rare and valuable to collectors. Now, you might be wondering, just how rare are these 1968 Liberty Lincoln pennies? Well, let me put it into perspective for you. Out of the millions of pennies minted that year, only a handful are known to exist with this error. And among those, even fewer are in pristine condition, further driving up their value. So, what's the big deal about a misprinted penny? Why are collectors willing to shell out exorbitant amounts of money for this tiny piece of copper? It all boils down to supply and demand, my friends. With such scarcity in the market, collectors are willing to pay top dollar to add this elusive gem to their collections. And let me tell you, the prices these coins command at auctions and private sales are nothing short of jaw-dropping. From private collectors to renowned numismatic institutions, Everyone is vying to get their hands on one of these coveted coins, driving the market value to unprecedented heights. Now, you might be thinking, how can I get my hands on one of these million-dollar pennies? Well, my fellow treasure hunters, here are a few tips to increase your chances. First and foremost, keep your eyes peeled during your everyday transactions. You never know when you might stumble upon one of these rare beauties in your pocket change or at a local coin shop. Secondly. Educate yourself about the distinguishing features of the 1968 Liberty Lincoln Penny. Familiarize yourself with the key markers of authenticity to avoid falling victim to counterfeits. In conclusion, the 1968 Liberty Lincoln Penny is not just a piece of pocket change. It's a piece of history, a symbol of rarity, and a potential million-dollar treasure waiting to be discovered. Finally, this coin value is $2.2 million. We embark on a journey through time to explore the mystique surrounding the 1969 Liberty Lincoln cent. What makes this seemingly ordinary coin so extraordinary? Let's find out. It was the year 1969, a time of social upheaval and cultural transformation. Amidst this whirlwind of change, the U.S. Mint quietly released a coin that would capture the imagination of collectors for decades to come, the 1969 Lincoln cent. What sets the 1969 Lincoln cent apart from its counterparts? Look closely, and you'll notice something peculiar. The absence of a mint mark. This anomaly sparked speculation among collectors, igniting a quest to uncover the truth behind this rare variant. The 1969 Lincoln cent without the mint mark was a result of a unique minting error. It's estimated that only a handful of these coins were mistakenly struck at the San Francisco mint without the S mint mark, making them exceedingly rare. As collectors scoured their pocket change and hunted through coin rolls, the legend of the 1969 Lincoln cent grew. Its scarcity fueled demand, driving up prices in the numismatic market. But what about the million-dollar question? Is the 1969 Liberty Lincoln cent truly worth a million dollars? While it's true that some specimens of the 1969 Lincoln cent have fetched significant sums at auctions, the actual value depends on various factors such as condition, provenance, and market demand. While a million-dollar price tag is rare, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility for a pristine, uncirculated specimen. 
Whether it's a million dollars or a priceless piece of history, the 1969 Liberty Lincoln Cent continues to captivate collectors worldwide, reminding us that even the smallest of coins can hold a measurable value. Finally, this coin value is $2 million. Join us next time as we delve into more fascinating stories from the world of numismatics. Until then, happy collecting. Hey, coin collectors and treasure hunters, welcome back to your channel name. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a spotlight on a seemingly ordinary coin that could be worth big bucks. Yes, we're talking about the 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Stay tuned to find out what makes this penny so special and how you can determine if you have a valuable one in your collection. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, minted from 1909 to 1958, is one of the most iconic and collected coins in American history. But not all pennies are created equal. The 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny is particularly interesting for collectors. Let's explore why. First, a bit of history. The 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side designed by Victor D. Brenner. The reverse side has two wheat stalks, symbolizing prosperity. Over 586 million of these pennies were minted in Philadelphia alone, with additional quantities minted in Denver and San Francisco. While most 1940 pennies aren't worth more than their face value, certain factors can make them highly valuable. Let's break down what to look for. Generally, the D and S mint mark pennies are more sought after by collectors, especially in higher grades. Next, consider the condition or grade of the coin. Coins range from good G4 to mint state MS65+. A higher grade can dramatically increase a penny's value. For example, a 1940S penny in MS65 condition can be worth over $30, while lower grade coins might only be worth a few cents. Error coins are a collector's dream and can fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on the rarity and demand. Now, Let's talk about rarities and special editions. Although the 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny isn't particularly rare, there are specific variations that can be worth significantly more. For instance, proof pennies minted in Philadelphia for collectors can be quite valuable, especially in high grades to SO. What's the takeaway? If you have a 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny, inspect it closely for mint marks, condition, and any possible errors. Even if you don't have a rare version, it's still a fascinating piece of American history. To maximize your coin's value, consider getting it graded by a professional coin grading service. This can provide an official grade and increase its marketability if you decide to sell. Remember, coin collecting is not just about the monetary value, but also about the joy of discovering and preserving history. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for those 1940 Lincoln Wheat pennies. Who knows? You might just have a hidden treasure in your pocket change. Finally, this coin value is $5 million. We're uncovering the fascinating details of the 1941 Lincoln Wheat One Cent Penny. Could this coin be worth big money? Let's find out. The Lincoln Wheat Cent, also known as the Wheat Penny, was produced from 1909 to 1958. But what makes the 1941 edition so special, and why could it be worth a significant amount today? First, Let's talk a bit about the history. The Wheat Penny was designed by Victor David Brenner, and the obverse features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, which was a first for a circulating U.S. coin. The reverse side shows two wheat ears, hence the name. In 1941, the United States Mint produced Lincoln Wheat Pennies at three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. You can tell where your penny was minted by looking for the mint mark just below the date. But why are some of these pennies potentially worth big money? It all comes down to rarity and condition. Pennies from 1941 are generally common, but certain factors can make them valuable. Let's break them down. First, condition is key. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, mint state. A 1941 Lincoln Wheat Penny in average condition might be worth just a few cents to a dollar. But if you have one in near perfect condition, the value can skyrocket. Another factor is mint errors. Error coins are highly sought after by collectors. In 1941, some pennies had double dies, where the design is duplicated. These errors can be quite valuable. So, if you have a 1941 Lincoln Wheat penny, here's what you should do. 
These steps can help you determine if your penny is just pocket change or a hidden treasure. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins in excellent condition or with unique errors. A 1941 Lincoln Wheat Penny in Mint State or with rare errors can fetch hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars at auction. Do you have a 1941 Lincoln Wheat Penny? Give it a closer look. You might just have a valuable piece of history in your hands. Finally, this coin value is $4.8 million. If you're a coin collector or just love finding treasure in unexpected places, you're in for a treat today. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1942 Lincoln Wheat One Cent Penny, a coin that might just be worth a lot more than you think. This humble penny has an incredible history and, believe it or not, it could be worth big money. But what makes some of these coins so valuable? Let's find out. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, also known as the Wheat Cent, was first minted in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The 1942 edition belongs to this iconic series, which was produced until 1958. Designed by Victor D. Brenner, this penny features Lincoln's bust on the obverse and two wheat ears on the reverse, symbolizing America's agricultural heritage. In 1942, the U.S. was deeply involved in World War II and the economic conditions had a direct impact on coin production. While most pennies minted in this year are quite common, some specific variations and conditions can make them extremely valuable. Now, let's talk about what you should look for. First, check for the mint mark. The 1942 pennies were minted in three locations, Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. Generally, the D and S mint marks are less common and can be more valuable, especially in high grades. Next, look for any errors or unique variations. For example, double die errors where the coin's details are doubled or off-center strikes can significantly increase a penny's value. There's also the 1942, D over 1941, D over date error which collectors find particularly intriguing. These error coins are rare and can fetch a high price among collectors. Always inspect your pennies closely. Condition is everything in coin collecting. The value of a 1942 penny can range from a few cents to hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on its grade. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to mint state, MS, 70. The closer to MS, 70 your coin is, the more valuable it could be. A 1942 penny in mint state condition can be worth around $5 to $10, but if you find one with exceptional qualities or rare errors, the value can skyrocket. A top-grade specimen sold for over $2,000 at auction. Asterisk, so, you think you've struck gold with your 1942 penny? Here's how you can cash in. First, get your coin professionally graded by a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. This certification can make a huge difference in its sale price. Next, decide where to sell. Online marketplaces like eBay or specialized auction sites can be great platforms. Alternatively, local coin shops or coin shows can offer direct sales opportunities. A few final tips for all the budding coin collectors out there. Always handle coins by the edges to avoid damaging them. Store them in a cool, dry place and keep an eye out for those rare finds. Finally, this coin value is $4.6 million. We're diving into the incredible story of the 1943 Lincoln Wheat Penny, a coin that could turn your pocket change into a small fortune. That's right, this seemingly ordinary penny could be worth big money, and I'm going to tell you why. In 1943, during World War II, the United States faced a significant shortage of copper, which was needed for wartime production. To save on this crucial metal, the U.S. Mint decided to strike pennies using zinc-coated steel instead of the usual copper. This resulted in millions of these steel pennies being minted. But here's where it gets interesting. A few copper pennies from 1943 slipped through the cracks and were accidentally minted. These rare copper pennies are the ones that collectors are going crazy for today. Why? Because they are incredibly scarce. It's estimated that only about 20 to 30 of these copper 1943 pennies exist making them extremely valuable. The 1943 copper penny is a prime example of a mint error that has become highly sought after. Depending on the condition, these coins can fetch anywhere from tens of thousands to over a million dollars at auction. That's right, folks. One of these pennies was sold for $1.7 million in 2010. 
So, how can you tell if you've got one of these rare gems in your hands? Asterisk first, let's look at the color. A 1943 steel penny will appear silver while the copper penny will have the familiar reddish-brown hue of traditional pennies. If your penny looks like a regular copper penny, the next step is to check the date. The date should read 1943. If it's a 1943 copper penny, it's time for a magnet test. Steel pennies will stick to a magnet, but copper ones won't. If your 1943 penny doesn't stick to a magnet, you might be in luck. Asterisk asterisk still, to be absolutely sure, you should have your penny authenticated by a professional coin grading service. This will give you a definitive answer and, if it's the real deal, significantly increase its value.so. What should you do if you find one? First, get it graded. Then, consider putting it up for auction or selling it to a reputable coin dealer. With the right buyer, your 1943 copper penny could make you a small fortune. Remember, these valuable coins are out there and they could be hiding in your pocket change or old collections. So, start checking those pennies and who knows, you might just strike it rich. Finally, this coin value is $4.2 million. We're exploring the fascinating world of the 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this coin so special? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover all the secrets that could turn your penny into big money. First, a bit of history. The Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted from 1909 to 1958, featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and wheat ears on the reverse. In 1944, something extraordinary happened. Due to the war effort, the U.S. Mint used copper salvage from shell casings, leading to some interesting variations. Let's talk about the variations you should be looking for. The most famous and valuable are the 1944 steel cents. Yes, you heard that right, steel. Most 1944 pennies were made from copper, but a few were mistakenly struck on leftover steel planchets from 1943. If you come across a 1944 penny that doesn't look coppery, it might be steel. To confirm, use a magnet. Steel pennies will stick to it. These rare steel pennies can fetch anywhere from $75,000 to over $100,000 depending on their condition. But that's not all. Even copper 1944 pennies can be valuable especially if they have certain errors or mint marks. Look out for the D, Denver, and S, San Francisco, mint marks. Also, double die errors, where the coin's image appears doubled, can significantly increase the coin's value. A regular 1944 copper penny in average condition is worth around 5 to 10 cents, but in mint state, they can go for $10 to $20. Now, add a rare mint error or a unique characteristic and you're looking at hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So, how do you know if your 1944 penny is worth big money? Here are a few steps you can take. And remember, condition is key. A well-preserved coin is always worth more. So handle your pennies with care. That's it for today's episode of Coin Corner. If you have a 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny, go check it out right now. You might be sitting on a small fortune. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more coin discoveries. Happy treasure hunting, everyone. Finally, this coin value is $3.8 million. Thanks for watching. Share your finds in the comments below, and see you next time on Coin Corner.